whoever has the, the, the talking Clorox mm-hmm. gets to speak. That's who gets to speak. The talking Clorox. Whoever gets to speak is the strongest one. <laughs> <laughs> the one who dominates the other's will. <laughs> that's really the yeah, way is these that, works. Is that how this works? Okay, yeah. good. We've broken down conversation to what it actually... It's all dynamic Ooh. power. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like the cinematography. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, here we are. Oh, I was going to harmonize, but I guess, you know, we don't have to. Hey. hey. <laughs> he winks. No, we can't just <laughs> say, oh, I thought you, mm-hmm. I thought, <laughs> Hey, hey, yeah. Uh, sure. Hey, hey. Okay. Fine. Like, Once don't look at that guy. Yeah, it's like in the Pink Panther where he hires that dude to like attack and try and kill him. So he what? stays on his on his toes. That's what I've hired Nick to do. Just I'm to just start. surprised that you remember That's like a the famous Pink gag Panther. in the Pink Panther where he's like, you know, it, are we talking? Are we talking? Steve, 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 Steve Martin? Yeah, all of guy? them. It's always a gag where he has. You guys have never seen the Pink Panther. When he you? hires a person to try to kill him. Yes, that's the that's the biggest gag from those movies. Yeah, he just, hires I this just, guy who's always trying to kill him, so I he can stay on his guard. I choose not to remember the Pink Panther movies. Oh I come on, they them. were funny. They were. Fu- I've never seen an old one. I know. Yeah, I've never seen the old one. I've I remember seen the Steve ones. going in middle school with my friend Matt to go see the the Steve Martin one, it, it, only for the hamburger. Because it was the funniest thing. That it, burger! <laughs> and no. we were like, that's funny as fuck. <laughs> There's not going to be anything better. And no. that was the funniest thing in middle school. I shit yeah. you not. We left before the movie was over because I'm when well, I tell you we went for that, that is exactly why. Oh, we you went, went, saw the burger. We bit. left. Everyone's looking for that one. Everyone is looking for Spider Pig. Or Which everyone's looking for yeah. the, the, <laughs> fucking, the trailer joke. It's fucking baffling why I, something I like I love Power when people Rangers. laugh. At the trailer joke, and it gets a huge laugh. Yeah. I'm like, oh. what is happening here? It's like it's this kind of weird, it's like a, full room moment of, uh, oh, we all know, I, we've there, all yeah, seen. There the was trailer. a thing. I, 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 this, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there was a legitimate study that was when, especially in that situation, it's because you've been taught that that's funny. People have like a. It's like when you're half listening to a conversation and you hear everybody else start to like laugh or whatever. Yeah, and, and you're like, I'm part of it. Yeah, I'm part of it. Like, yeah, part of it. Right, it's like scientists have confirmed that if you laugh at the trailer joke, you are lame as fuck. <laughs> yes. yes. Interesting. It's empirically proven. What was the deal with this with this screening at like Arclight? Was there someone there to speak? I had we, It was yeah, just kind of wandering the, in. It was, I think that like, the because like, I don't know. I didn't do my homework. I don't cool. know you guys. So, mm-hmm. Good? Okay, great. Great so, start. And that's why I'm here. And that's because why we're here. <laughs> not a good school. Everything, nothing yeah, exactly. went well. This is why, yeah. We have a community service deal with yeah. the local. Yeah, this is, uh, this is part of my parole. Um, with but, the dumb um, idiot uh, yeah, you're c- dumb. collection where we hire, <laughs> that's what we're saying. hire all of our guests. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, the dumb idiot agents. We, all, we're all the, we just live on your porch and you just pick them out yeah. and you, like, just, <laughs> you just say, and then you. Mm-hmm. You know what? Like illegal day workers. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> I need six guests. <laughs> so I, I saw Colossal. It's like, you're on. <laughs> oh, oh. Welcome to Reasonable Beef, everybody. Yeah. I am Tim E. Kish. I'm once again joined by, who's here? Me, it's me. It's How fair you always do it? Like it's a question. <laughs> who's here? It's always gonna be. No, it's Dom. And who's my guest today? Joined by Aaron Daniel Jacob. Is Aaron, his name? A D J. What are you? Uh, I am a. I'm a. I'm a session singer for the Disney Channel. That's uh, true. And I make movies. Really? Yeah. That's what's the show you work on at Disney Channel? Uh, I did Phineas and Ferb mm-hmm. first off, and now I'm doing mm-hmm. a show called Milo Murphy's Law, and I sing tunes for that. Very cool. And are they the same creator? Same guys. Yeah. Swamp, Dan Dan po- Dan Povenmire and and, yep. and Swampy. Is Swampy is someone's name? Yeah, it was, it, he's Jeff is his name, but we call him, he's, he's Swampy. Does he have a last name? Yeah, Marsh. Oh, Swampy Marsh. Uh-huh. Is he always wet? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he smells kind of uh, gross, like fun, like fungal, yeah, like what we were fun. talking about earlier. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's a fun guy. Swampy, oh, I love him. You. You're a, better than that. <laughs> Come on. Excuse me, I, I will say again. <laughs> Mm-mm. He's a fun guy. All right, sick. <laughs> Great start. Cool. Well, that's awesome. Thanks for uh, being in my den. You're welcome. Is mm-hmm. it a den? You've said this twice now today, okay. and I forgot den, that we're all den, from the 60s. Den has television. This is what I've learned. Den has a television. Living room does not have a television. Maybe a fireplace. That's mm-hmm. what That's what I've come to know is the difference between a den and just, a living room. Just like a bear's den, where like <laughs> it needs <laughs> a television yeah, exactly. TV. in order for them to survive the winter. Right. Uh, we saw Colossal. We did. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Anne Hathaway, uh-huh. Jason, 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 <laughs> Jason Sudeikis, um, uh, Kimmy Schmidt's dad, or from, wait, <laughs> wait oh, the, the, yeah. the, the, 
Uh, as her I'm other his other the, friend. While you guys figure this out, I'm gonna pull Look, up the man, There's a lot of, oh, a lot of right, character yeah, actors. Dude. Some character actors I've seen around in the background of this movie. Dan Stevens. Yeah, holy shit. Dan Stevens. Dan Stevens. Exactly. Yeah. Dan, Dan Stevens. Yes. Yeah. Which is this? He's on a little street. Uh, everything directed by um, a guy named Nacho. Na, uh, Nacho Libre. Nacho Vitalulu. Vitalulu. Nacho. It's Vil, uh, it's Vitaldongo. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna look this up. It's very close <laughs> to Vitalago. I'm, Na- I'm Na- actually positive. Nacho Villalago and. Uh, uh, 2017, mm-hmm. which is the year of our Lord. Right. Uh, fuck. Oh, damn, come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a flick. Oh, it's a fucking for girls. Man. <laughs> 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 fucking gay. Yeah. <sighs> uh, no, it was good. I really liked it. Yeah, it, it was a flawed movie. Very flawed movie. And you have I, to and suspend I, your disbelief. I told you this yesterday after we walked out of the theater. I am so glad that we didn't record because we saw it. We saw it yesterday. Yeah, I didn't yeah. like. I'm no, so mm-hmm. glad that we didn't record it right. right after we saw it because I was able to think about it. Yeah. Per, it, it percolated a little bit. Right. In my eyes, and now I can. Now we Exa- can talk about like, it. And, uh, you know exactly for those I was trying to digest it. And I'm just like, oh, why didn't they? Why didn't they get uh, empty Korea when the monster started attacking? Them? Yeah, because like, oh, well, then all because of the, the drama then, is gone. Then the, then the catharsis <laughs> right. then at the end of the movie no is, is, is yeah. Well, but then the other one was Jason Sudeikis switching suddenly. That was my just biggest suddenly. Thing. So he's gonna and and I mean we'll talk. Are we about gonna that. dive right in? We'll, I'll touch oh, that on was that our, later. That was our intro paragraph in high school where we where we yeah. breeze through all of the you things we're gonna talk about. The three things. Do minimum body paragraphs, ending things, throw it away, and then smoke a bunch. <laughs> In conclusion, and then I did this twenty minutes before class, and yeah. then we, we got and we got to put in sources afterwards. We got an easy bib oh, so that we set them right. Easy bib. Remember um, easy bib? I don't think I ever used it. That's when the automatic sources. You type in the name of the book and the pages, and then it types it in for you. I did it like a fucking actual academic when I wrote my oh, did when you? I wrote well, I my, as an academic. my paper I'm just a fucking failure when I wrote yeah. my paper about to... the history of video games and then reused it five or six times in my <laughs> yeah. public school career I studied those sources by myself um, yeah so I somehow got through college things. without ever actually figuring out how to write an essay yeah, or paper mm-hmm. see I, when, I went through all four years and I had to do many of them Mm-hmm. But every time I would writing always, the goddamn you you took writing the the essay writing the essay writing just, the goddamn like essay. A, you know ACA format or MBA or I APA couldn't tell you. format MLA I, I use word MLA uh, ladies and gentlemen we're writing this in NBA format. in NBA, <laughs> NBA format <laughs> just fucking uh, we dribble I a make basket. a point and then I just we yeah. dribble a basketball until it until it looked like words or like semblance of words NBA is basketball I just, right we're not I gonna find it. this joke <laughs> yeah let's keep trying bless our little fucking souls who where could it be. Sad little boys in a room. So where, um, do, we, where do we want to start? Ah, oh, fuck. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. That's <laughs> where I want to come from. Let's Dude, start the at the only, end. That's like the a good only film. successful start at the end. way to, to do this podcast <laughs> is to stop. Okay, so uh, I, I will go on. I guess let's open with the beef. Um, there were some things that are that are... I mean, some stilted yeah. dialogue at certain points. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, for, from the my initial, the do first we want to say what the movie was about for people that haven't yeah, seen? Yeah, yeah, we movie could yet? open with it. So this is a yeah. limited release movie. So I think that's actually oh, yeah, kind of yeah, important. It's probably. Just like two with like La La Land. Initially, there was like two theaters in like L.A. and New York. Right. Sure, I think, and we'll see if it gets a wide. I, I really hope it does. I think it deserves yeah. it. Um, this movie, uh, Anne Hathaway plays a horrible drunk. Uh, she fucks up her relationship in New York City. Has to move back home to her mm-hmm. normal old fashioned town, and she finds that. At 8.05 a.m., if she is in this uh, small section of playground at her old, I guess, elementary school, Mm -hmm. uh, she manifests as a monster on the other side of the world in Seoul, South Korea. Uh, Mouth Korea, which is... Mouth (laughs) Korea. Best Korea. The the only Uh, one. And it's fucking... What? I'm I'm opening up a club called Mouth Korea tomorrow. (laughs) (laughs) But so, yeah, and she finds that this small section of the playground maps perfectly over the city of Seoul, South Korea. Right. Um, And it's a monster therapy movie is how I heard it described where she uses the fact that she can become a monster. She like grows to appreciate uh, life and she gets over her alcoholism. um, And it is fucking not as weird. They play that premise so straight. These movies make me it's 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 in one on one hand, I'm glad because they're maybe acting as some sort of vanguard for uh, for people jumping on board with big, stupid supernatural metaphor things. High like, concept. I, but then yeah. the other, uh, I but I mean super. I mean metaphors. Like I mean this. This is the maybe one of the most distilled versions I can I've hmm. ever seen where they're saying. So you know how? Oh, okay. So like ET is like it's more about divorce or like I'm trying to think of like I don't know. You can 
take most superhero things and extend sure. what their powers are, what the problem is. The monster what... is very rarely just a monster. Like right. it usually in good horror, mm-hmm. it right. has a representation. There's some sort of reason Babadook. why. Babadook. Babadook was sure. I've never seen the that. Babadook, but, but I believe you. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's. I mean, I, without going into it, it's like it's like there's. The it's like a Babadook. Up. There's like a oh, Babadook. Yeah, yeah, you know, right? Cool. Yeah. yeah, no, sick. No, but that movie's about like grief, and so you like or right. grief mm-hmm. and like dealing like dealing with like a, a troubled kid as, right. as a sure. parent. So, and it's like the monsters of the relationship, or the monster. Is yeah, blah, which blah, is blah. which I think is important. I think is that, I think that that's <laughs> no, because Obama's, it's just like Obama's said, coming into my house, blah, blah, into my into my closet, I said and the monster is blah 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 into my freedoms. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. So it's it's clearly it's a metaphor for. Yeah. Right. Um, but, so, but in this, yeah. it's it's there's no other. There is nothing else. There is no other explanation because it is a it is completely and, tied to her being drunk. Yeah, and, and, and that's that's ground. going into. I mean, are we? Is this is spoilers? In this? Uh, yes. Yeah, we're we gonna can spoil. spoil the, we're going, going to spoil these yes. things. Okay, so we spoil realize beef. that what I really liked about this, and I and I and I just had to decide whether or not I liked about it. This thing that was a sentence. Um, here Good we job. go. Thank you. Um, a plus. Is they didn't go into the how of it, how they got these like powers. Mm-hmm. Like in super yeah. duper detail, because it didn't matter. Because the story was about this right. this sure. other thematic thing. I mean, you get the lightning; they they go into the like the whatever sure. like mm-hmm. forest. That's, and the that's actually in the a head. cut of beef for me because mm-hmm. I wish they almost wouldn't have at all. You you, <laughs> you, you, you would have gone without yeah. that one flash. because well, because it, it doesn't answer any questions. Where it's like they got the power because yeah. they got struck. The by only lightning. thing is because they they're holding one of them's holding the but the that, monster that's, that's toy the second and the half robot. My, toy. That's the second yeah, half right. of my point, which is it doesn't answer any questions. Where it says okay, they got struck by lightning, they get the power, and it raises questions which is why does no one recognize these licensed characters that are attacking (laughs) South Korea well I thought it was like he had like dollar store Sure, like just some monster. Yeah, I guess. I mean, someone like that somewhere would have been like, hey, it "Hang been, on, <laughs> it would have been better Groot? if like they were both like." <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant Groot. It's a Groot versus soul. a Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Disney is getting aggressive yeah. in their yeah. advertising. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would have made more sense if like like maybe like I agree like maybe they drawn them or something like he drew yeah, a robot and, and she drew whatever. a yeah, and sure. she drew a giant. But monster. he's right because it's almost like just don't even don't go there. I mean, I was reading an interview director was talking about how that for him was like an emotional climb and it was just it was literally to serve that this was like there was an extension it wasn't just that this this relationship between them started here that there was always sort of some sort right. of weird like abusive well, well I always blah, got blah, blah, that blah. where he was and always a bully to her well to, right yeah. to jump into that um to jump into the th- I'm sorry finish your no, point no 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 that was it Go okay ahead. so to jump into the theme of that like uh, I viewed him Jason Sudeikis' character uh-huh. so she le- she gets left by her boyfriend moves back home and suddenly this guy shows up and he's like oh hey it's you do you right. remember me I'm an old friend he's right. alcohol clearly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this guy represents alcohol he owns a bar yeah, right he, like, and he, he's like you know familiar and he's very ha- she's happy with him for a while and then shit turns sour really sure. quickly and you know it ruins all of her other relationships it keeps her from getting back with this old guy it keeps her from moving on and finding someone else and then it's also to say that when you cut back to him and see him as a little boy which uh, he destroys her like diorama that's right. like the big reveal um, he's never been good for her like right. they've never worked well together right and uh, and I, I think it's. I think that's interesting. That's what I'm, it means to me. I'm not sure if I, I. I think that's an interesting way to to look at it. But I do think because the movie. Here's the thing is, and this is this is my biggest beef with the thing, um, is that it felt like when it switched gears halfway through, when it did become more just like, okay, there's a bad guy now. Mm-hmm. Do you kind of know what I mean? Where it was like in the yeah. beginning, it was we're we're gonna be here, and this this lady's gonna have to f- to fix herself and there's a lot of stuff with mm-hmm. her that she needs to figure out whether or not Dan Stevens is even really nice to her in the first place mm-hmm. is irrelevant but we open with like she messed up a relationship you mean Jason Sudeikis no 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 I mean Dan Stevens in the beginning oh, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, you yeah, know so. and he's you can you get the vibe that he's controlling and he's kind of an asshole sure because well, later, he's not right for her either. Right. No. I know, right. Yeah. Okay. And, that, and that's really apparent at the end of the movie. Yeah. And she right. doesn't choose either. But anyway. But but so it, the fact that it switches, she kind of solves her when she fall, she trips and crushes all the people where she kills X amount of people. It's, it's right. It's literally halfway through the movie because it's on the same beat that we find out that he turns into the robot. It's a well. midpoint. It's a classic. Like, and I, just, yeah, I was yeah. very excited by that too because I was like, what? Yeah. And yeah. What's <laughs> fun about it too is you think that that's going in the direction of oh, anybody that's he's that's- a savior. He's like. The robot who quells the monster, who stops the monster, blah blah blah. That's right. kind of what Complete you think is going to happen, right? Sure. Yeah, and it's yeah. going go the other way. That wasn't a fart. That was the I turned on the chair. Did you hear? I it? didn't even pick. Did you pick that Can up, Nick? Please? Nick? Did you pick up the fart? Give me work to do. <laughs> We're getting a nod here from uh-huh. the engineer. That fart had a limited release. <laughs> 
I'm hoping it doesn't go Just wide. Oh, it'll go wide. Yeah. <laughs> That's some quality. That's right there. Um, but so, so what I'm getting, okay. The fact that she kind of, uh, she stops drinking halfway through the movie. Yeah. So that problem sort of gets dealt with, and this was something that clouded up the whole movie for me, was that it felt like she sort of got better and was completely unrewarded for making the right quote unquote character choice in the okay. movie. It was like, oh, she stopped drinking now, she's being better, but there's still like but now both dudes are being assholes to her and the one is experiencing a descent into true villainy. Yeah. Like this dude is actually evil. Well yeah, no, I, I think here here's what I think. I think it's when you when you look at the film under the lens of like it's a metaphor for alcoholism, yeah. I agree. Like in the middle, the middle of the movie happens. She quits drinking, mm-hmm. um, and there's that one moment in, in like halfway through the second act of act, second half of Act Two where he like puts a beer and says, "Drink it," and you get that, you get that, and you if, get that, you get that taunting moment. And like, I get if she had drank when he taunts her when he, when he puts the beer down, and if she drank with him and got drunk with him, sure, and then they both fucked up mm-hmm. the city the next day. And I know that's a very that's a way more obvious. And I'm, I try not to get. Uh, my feet glued down to like story structure mm-hmm. stuff. No, yeah. And, like it has to be this way. But like the, again, I think why I have the problem with it is because there wasn't continued connective tissue to her alcohol. Well, let me counter. Let me counter. She, t- that's addiction where. Yes, she stopped drinking, but she's not out of the woods yet. She could go back to it at any time. So whereas he's he's there constantly being that temptation, and that's when he turns nasty, when she quits drinking. Like, if you know anyone mm, with addiction, that's fair, yeah, they've stopped drinking hundreds of times. It's withdrawal, stopped smoking it's, cigarettes it's withdrawal, hundreds it's the of withdrawal, times. The, the, the anger not even the, necessarily yeah. withdrawal, but like that pull, that whatever broke you, whether it be chemical or you have something in your head that's not letting you mm. move on from this, it the addiction will... will Go you I back. I suppose that's sh- that's that's represented when she won't leave the bar. That, though, if you saw her, him being more convincing, I guess where I have where the gap is for me is that he is so actually bad. He's it is it is true evil. Well, that's what he's doing is he wants to kill people sure. and he wants to keep her there. Like, but again, it's a metaphor. No, it's not. He's not but, an actual. But it's person a bad in metaphor my, in because the way that's I'm in, 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 if if you want to go down that he's an al- he's an extension of the alcoholism thing. I think it's it's it doesn't work that way because that's like saying someone who's addicted to alcohol, um, other people will die if they don't drink. Do you kind right. of know what I'm well, saying? Well, so that, then the mo- when the monster comes into it, it becomes a little bit more exactly. Which mm. is why I, I had a there was there was a logic gap that I was missing right. again because I never felt like she was tempted more. I just felt like he's being evil. Of course she has to fucking stop him because he wants to kill people. Sure, like there wasn't a question. There I was think no choice. I think it's about the impetus. It's about like uh, where it, it, instead of it being about her her life falling apart, it becomes the impetus of like okay she needs to stop this or else there will be serious damage. Well, there's another there's another layer. So it's there's taking another, her problem and amplifying it. There's there's, an, no, right there. there's a there's there's another layer to this, and it has to do with all of her relationship towards men yeah. in particular. Like the, the first layer on this, and that's and that's where I was getting at is that the, the first layer of, of this film is is sort of a metaphor for alcoholism and the sort of the baggage that comes with that, and how you know you're I mean quite literally your your drunken escapades have repercussions, right. mm-hmm. maybe even on the other side of the globe, and like that's very, and I appreciate very apparent. that yeah. they don't. Like there's, I go back and forth between thing and that could have been the whole movie, but there's also like, okay, we deal with it. Yeah, she exactly. She gets drunk, she fucks stuff up, we get yeah, it. How, yeah, how right. do you keep her in that right, loop yeah. if it's so blatantly like, okay, I'm not going to kill hundreds of people anymore, I'm going to yeah. stop drinking, because that's like blatantly wrong. But there's another layer to it that's like, it, in this weird way, it's sort of, be, the second half of the movie in particular becomes a metaphor for like, I guess, abusive men in different ways, manipulative way, ways that men it, manip- manipulate this this woman. Yeah. And I think, well, what I think is, I think that's what the film is really about. And that's where that's where this this whole thing is coming from. Which is why, though, it feels jarring <laughs> when that happens an hour in, as opposed to like, that we get the vibe that's, that's going to be the movie. Mm-hmm. Do you kind of know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah, I agree with that. Because the first half of the movie is train wreck, who's a drunkard, is going to get her life together and, and I think that, part yeah. of it rubbed me a weird way because and and it has completely valid points that it's making in the second half and it's un- it makes you uncomfortable and it's kind of hard to watch sometimes mm-hmm. and it's good it's powerful in that respect and it does just become ultimately you know I was talking to Amber about it and Amber saw it more as this completely rounded out her 100% just taking control and like do you know what I mean? Just across all aspects of her life, step, well, that's, stepping up that's and an stopping everything sure. that's yeah. bad for her. Which, which is like a more global way yeah. of looking at that character. And I right. agree. Yeah. The, the men aren't, 
characters in this oh, movie. Yeah. Well, I mean, they are, but I think in a lot of ways, every man in this is a representative of, of something. And, and mm-hmm. yeah. to, to go back to my, um, to my other point of the, of him being alcohol, it's, that's reflected in the relationships he has with his friends as well. Like he's clearly a dick to all of his friends yeah. and like, they don't get any benefit. So why do they keep coming back? Why do they keep hanging around after taking right. such like abuse and such like right. fuck ups but, from him? And then there's another, now, uh, now I get into, uh, you know, flesh and bone plot issues yes. because so now we now because we're when he's yeah. being that insane yeah. i had so many times and this is one of those things where it's so easy to to make people stop questioning why they haven't called the police or whatever right he knows everyone in town we see that in the movie so i can maybe by extension just infer of course they're not going to the police because he clearly is chummy with fucking everyone and it wouldn't go anywhere anyway right like you know this cop mm-hmm. would show up and be like okay just you know Take it easy, you two. But, like, it was so insane that I was like, why is nobody doing something in the real world to stop him? Sure. And by the real world, I mean not the monster metaphor world, where it's like, okay, I get that he's a monster, and it's like, once they're in that situation, it's it's tricky. How do you Mm -hmm. get him out of there without hurting people? But, like, when when he's in her house, I was kind of like... You could like one thousand percent call the police right now. And get mm-hmm. I know, but that's but but that's the whole thing. It's 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 more about how. I mean, it's again. This goes back to how you know abuse and and manipulation can affect somebody. They they won't and they won't awesome. act rationally. So that's a yeah. great way to look at it. And I and I. I agree that I think it is doing that, but, but I think not, it's not doing it as well as it maybe could because I'm not seeing yeah, the choice sure. in her. I'm with, yeah, I'm with sure. Tom on this. They need yeah. to take her options off the table. First and foremost, like establish she can't call the cops. She can't like attack this guy and kill him or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like take the options off the table or a hundred percent the other way. Yes. Make us literally watch that. She's picking to, yeah. to stay under his thumb when she could. And they didn't, it I just wish, became movie yeah. frustrating, not, Mm-hmm. narratively frustrating. I agree. Kind of and I, mean? I wish they would have shown us more ways that he, uh, not as a metaphor, but as a human being was manipulating her. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? In ways that aren't just like suddenly changing and now he's a monster. Yeah. And that was, that was my thing walking out of the movie. I got it with one of my, yeah. yeah. One of my biggest gripes was how I think it was within like a scene. Like there's that scene. He, they realize he's a, he's a robot right. and they have that scene at the diner where he's the like robot. the he robot. Isn't they, yeah. Whatever, the, whatever the <laughs> robot, the robot. No. Um, mm-hmm. And they have the scene at the diner where he's like, ah, "Calm down, nobody's gonna." Uh, like, right. Yeah, nobody's gonna know. Or it's still just likable. A, still likable. Yeah. And then the next scene, he's—I forget what the next scene well, was, but he was because like, "She goes to she goes to sleep with the younger guy." And I thought, him, "Oh, him acting that's out right." In this, yeah. And it probably was, but they never can. Conf- confronted each other i was expecting when she showed up he was surprised that she was off with the guy yeah so it was like when they showed up i thought oh he's and i guess he's pissed i guess they did and they established early in the movie where like when they when she was flirting with him like initially he, he, got, he was like don't fucking yeah, do that he got john goodman mad yeah he sure. did he, get john. he got 10 cloverfield <laughs> lately yeah. about that <laughs> yeah it's it's interesting i almost wish there was more i wish this was a more visual film i think is is there i wish there were more oh. cues when we were drifting into the insanity and like it, it didn't just kind of play straight you, the yeah. whole yeah. time. I, I, you, you know, it's funny. I actually took notice of that. I didn't think that the the craft of the movie itself was like too terribly impressive. Yeah. Um, and I think, and I think it was good just loved as it. well. I loved it conceptually. Yeah. I'm I, sorry. Please. I was just saying. I think that's on purpose for sure. I mean, he's doing. It's it's a hundred percent. Uh, a indie drama, yeah, and then we're gonna cut away and which I love, totally. yeah. which is great. Like some of my favorite stories are like, here's this big, massive mondo world that right. exists with magic and monsters and dragons, but we're gonna hang out with these three people. And right, there wasn't. That's why I love striking. You mentioned it, Ten Cloverfield Lane. That's why I love that movie right, so right, much. Right. Is because of, here's this movie with, I guess, aliens, but then it's just three people in a room basically, right. and I love that. Yeah. So like Agreed. how they they don't shy away from but, the implication. But Cloverfield was more visually dynamic to me. They they did. Um, I, so, they did I would they say did, it was they did stronger, so much more yeah. with such smaller space with light lighting and blocking yeah, I agree. Um, and, and composition where sure. this film had a whole town that they can play with and it still kind of just looked muddled and indie, which I guess is a choice. Um, yeah. I just maybe I just and I'm, that could just be that I didn't like the way that it looked because sure. yeah. I'm, you know, it was, you know, a, it was a little it's plain. also just easier to, to provide better visuals when you have a tight like a tight space like that. I more control. Like, I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, you have, have more, more control, less places yeah. to be. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You have more, you're looking at a space and you're like, what ways can I manipulate the space instead of how many spaces do I have? In a mm-hmm. way, it's impressive that the monster looked good at all because yeah. it's like you could see where they were deciding where money was going to go and that's 100% apparent when 
in the crowd scenes when, and the in the crowd yeah. in the crowd scene stuff, but in also like when you see that when they're in the bar and the bar and we're gonna get there in a second when the bar's on fire well, and all the fire is CGI. That looked like shit. Was it? Oh, yeah, it was that's, great. Like that's great. That's great that, yeah. that it pulled it. Up. I didn't think it looked bad, but I noticed. I could tell. I was like, it was okay, out of. Yeah. You know why? Because it was out of. It, like it was like there was a, yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. the shot you're talking about. I think it's like Dan Stevens or something where you see behind it's, him. It's, it's like supposed to be yeah. out of focus and it's sharp entirely. and it's yeah. sharper. Which well, is good. good. That's great. Yeah. I mean, because it wasn't yeah, good bad. for you, Tim. Good no, for it you. wasn't yeah, unsuccessful. Oh no, 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 no! You're just one of those normal non-filmmakers. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I genuinely know it's. It's. I'm glad you're keeping your eyes closed. I feel this, like Tim. that's one of those <laughs> things that takes you trying to, at some point, have tried to composite fire into something, and like being so aware what it looks like because there's something about it that just rings. It's it's a hair left of the, well, correct. there there are there are there are people that can do that so well, and I'm not, I'm not saying that the talent that the filmmakers aren't yeah. talented. It's just it was. At least, you know. I understood yeah. it. But anyway, that, but what all I was getting was, it's interesting, though, because I love that sort of thing where they're like, you know, listen, we don't really necessarily need to, like, it's going to cost this much money to, to set this fucking place on fire. Yeah. Or, like, a piece of this place on fire and have the people who are the pyro experts there and blah, blah, blah. Or we could just, like, cut this fucking sheet and add fire in later and get some orange lights. Yeah. <laughs> no, and we can make the monster look good. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah and 10, the monster looked great. And the robot looked great. And we never quite... <laughs> really get a good well, I look like at that. it I which think, is smart well I think and I think that 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 still ma- makes it good because right. they still use their their resources properly sure you know? I love the crowd cheer or you hear everybody's watching oh yeah. my TVs. god this, and okay, okay, yes sound like design of this film was incredible yeah, yeah. it actually was I really agree. good and they yeah. do this thing where she always looks she like looks to this row home and you hear throughout the town every time she steps in just like a very muffled cheer yeah like and everybody's so watching and this that's, on and TV. That's, and that's they, call, they this, don't really call attention to it either it's, like it's just like a, yeah. well that, that's look, what this film is about too that's another thing that this film is about is these these jason sudeikis's character is like a guy who like got he typical guy who got trapped in his town because of whatever circumstances right. and he wants to be more like he, he's a right, big right, he's right. a big fish in a small pond right now he wants to be in a bigger fun and e- pond and even bigger fish yeah mm-hmm. and here is in his eyes Anne Hathaway who did that but obviously we know that she's like you know she, she right. feels everything yeah. but that and so here are these two people that are craving like attention and recognition and influence and all of a sudden they have that right. On, on the other side, gigantic scale. On a gigantic scale, yeah. except nobody knows it's them, and that's the that, and I think that's and that's the one thing that for me justifies Jason Sudeikis going bananas is because when you think about that, if you're in the mind of you someone, all of a sudden had that power. If you all of a sudden had that power and you were that low, which yeah. he obviously is, because he's just as much of an alcoholic as she is. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, he's just better at hiding it. Um, you might go there. You might. You might so. go there if if you're twisted in that way. I guess I wanted a, a slightly smooth because it was jarring. I mean, who? Oh my god! And yeah, that's yeah, fun, yeah. And I think that's also part of it to to uh, get back on track quickly with the men thing, which I think is definitely an important part of it, and the manipulation thing, and the like, you know, uh, op- oppressive in ways that like he the, again the, my my the gaslighting my, and my the, issue is that maybe he gets so of overtly aggressive he, and scary he, that you're like, where's the uh, what are we saying here? It just becomes right. scary, and that's fine because it was kind of cool. That's a cool device where it's like, okay, if you have this thing where in this spot ever you turn into a monster and you could kill a bunch of people, then we're gonna deal with the people trying to get into the Jaeger or whatever. Like that's part. That's gonna be more of where our tension is gonna come from. Is like. If he sets foot in the fucking Gundam, then there's going to be problems. So get him out of it. Stop. Don't let him get there. You know what I mean? That's right. interesting. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I, like I just that they don't shy away from the implication of, of what it means that there's a giant robot and a monster hanging out in South South Korea. Like <laughs> throughout the whole movie, they're like, yeah, war's over. Like we're done with that for a little. Yeah. <laughs> like we're done with yeah, that for like a while. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, and then she talks about how like if it stops showing up, like will everyone just go back to fighting again? Like what happens when the monster goes away? Right. And that's that's a theme that's not really touched on at any point again for the rest of the movie. It's such a but can I think of it's worms. A, yeah. Yeah. It, it is. A, it's a huge. It's can a of worms. different movie. And it's, it's a really like, different. Movie. Yeah. It's great that they're touching on those implications, but like, don't please don't make me think about it because that makes me question the logic of the movie. Yeah. And uh, of stuff like why is Sale not not evacuated? Or, yeah. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. In it, I was not questioning anything except for why is nobody doing anything about crazy guy? Yeah, like so when this dude sets off fireworks and legitimately puts you in harm, they immediately could have had him like arrest. Like that's a I crazy really, thing. To that's do. probably my least favorite scene in the whole thing. Oh, that was crazy. That was insane. The fireworks, fireworks thing. It was very. Most, it was ve- well. So the whole thing. thing yeah. I hope. I think the whole movie should have been ten minutes shorter. I think it's hundred and ten minutes. I think it would have been a good edit. Nice hundred minutes movie because it says pretty much what it needs to say. And I think scenes like that where he's like going through this whole diatribe or this whole monologue about how you know we drove and we got this thing we never lit it off and now 
how he lit it off. And I'm like, this is this sucks. This it's is a little. Stupid. It's it's villain. It's masturbatory villain. It, it is, and it's, it's like, not even particularly just like be like. Spooky like now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you're you're not setting up. We're building to this tension, and yeah, uh-huh. and it's, yeah but there's yeah. no real tension building. It's like okay, he's gonna light it, and something's gonna happen. This, and then right. the, the most disappointingly, nothing particularly happens. Yeah. Well, that, that's right. the thing about that scene. It lives up to my expectations. Oh, is he, oh, oh, he's gonna. It'd be one thing if something else happened that would change the course of my expectations. My expectation being, oh, he's just gonna light it, and the thing's gonna go on fire. And guess what happens? It's the thing, and it yeah. goes on fire. But I, I guess yeah. again, to go back to him being alcohol, you could say like he does this insane thing, right. and she's still like not gonna walk away. Where it's like, okay, so there, there's that symbolism again of him being alcohol. But when you remove it in any other context, and you're not looking at it in that lens, it's like, what the? I fuck? still think that lens doesn't quite fit there. Well, here's, though, a, here's, a, here's a question: Are we? Are we? Is this world? Is this, this does this movie take place in like a very hyper realistic naturalistic world, or is it? Is it? Is there an edge to it? I mean, besides the fact that monsters and I think it's pretty realistic. Yeah, I think they were trying to take it normal as then then it's then it's then it's bad to have a character like Jason Sudeikis be completely representational and have no justification for that. Because if we're in a movie, if we're in a movie that's but so let me. I uh, I was gonna what I was gonna about to start going down was the like the men thing and these different like. And it was funny, and it it, I it, it makes me uncomfortable when I don't catch these things and like. Amber, like my girlfriend says it and I was like maybe how defend- could that woman know more than no, I yeah. <laughs> about, <laughs> no, no. about the craft no no I meant embarrassing in that like I was starting to you know not side with because he was clearly being like a douche but not side with the Dan Stevens character but I was like I don't know I kind of felt unfair that like we start this movie where she is clearly not being nice to him and right. invites people over to his place. Well, here's what I will- And then at the end, there's still the like, you were mean. Now, here's why, though. And I and Amber sort of pointed in. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. Was when he, when she does go home and she stops drinking and she gets a job, he continues to be Yeah, he's a putz yeah. shit. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, So it's clearly okay. he's not, he's not good for her. He's just not nice. And that's, well, another, that, and these, that, are, these are the other ways people are manipulating. And, like, and that's the point. If you're, if, you're, if you're putting yourself in, if you're supposed to be, this is, this was an interesting thing about this movie. I, Anne Hathaway's character, I, I, was so fascinated by her because she was such a train wreck was not making any good decisions in her life at all yet for some reason I still wanted to see her overcome it um and I and I I I I can't help but think maybe I I don't know why and I and I can't I can't figure I'd love to figure this out Anne Hathaway is incredibly likable like that Mm -hmm. it's I think a a part of it is that it's just like well there's that actress there is also I did Uh, main main character blanket where I mean how many times have we watched someone who's objectively shitty but because we are that's their Ferris guy. Bueller is a terrible awful person dude. and mean. friend mm. yeah. and just entity like he should be in jail he's a little jerk he's awful but we're like he, we're with him so it's like we're gonna oh, right. and even with her you know it's I hate to to say always bring up like the save the cat thing but she saves the cat in the beginning of the movie by virtue of like when when you start with our main character getting broken up with, especially because we don't see her be like she doesn't light his fucking apartment on fire right. or like smash his stuff. She comes home she drunk, comes and home, we have to assume, right? right. Mm-hmm. And we understand she's disappointed him over and over and over again, and she seems apologetic, but she's not owning up to it. Mm-hmm. And you get when she gets broken up with, she feels bad. So we're like, uh yeah, we yeah. Feel no, bad. I and I and I get that. But what what I do love is 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 how the dynamics of the men character change. By the end of the film, and if, if mm-hmm. we're if we're if the audience is supposed to, you know, let's assume that the audience is in Anne Hathaway in, in Anne Hathaway's shoes. These men are being, some of them are being helpful to her. They're telling her exactly what she needs to sure. hear, and then she takes that advice. And all of a sudden, they start. We start seeing behind that. We see how destructive and manipulative and irrational I, they are. That's the two that's, extremes where he yeah. he's like all you know business, your career. You're not focusing enough on your you you over here working as a waitress. You should be writing, and it's just like man, yeah. fuck you. Like I don't have to yeah. be an alcoholic, well, and, but I also don't have to be like that because and, there, and there's so that there's line at the that, end where he's like you're entitled to give me give me an explanation she's like actually no i'm not right. yeah. <laughs> well so so to further the point where there's different kinds of manipulation and uh the i just want what's best for you kind of manipulation is some of the most insidious shit. oh my god so yeah. it's like so he, i'm doing this he's for doing, you uh, yeah, yeah he, not that i'm doing this for you yeah. but it's just like when he's going in on her like that it's like 
well, okay, I'm being, you're, you're I'm an being asshole. hard on you because you need it and because sure. you deserve it. Yeah, exactly. That's like, Instead yeah. of being like a supportive, uh, you know, partner, which yeah. is <laughs> <should> be, <laughs> his response to how her cleaning up and getting a job should have been like, "Wow, okay, good. Like, I'm like, glad you have. I'm yeah, really glad you did that. Like, but it's, but you. instead, it's why you why you yeah, waitress? What are your waitress? Yeah. That's what and then on the other side, we have the dude. Jason Zig is just so nice. he's. And even after he starts being shitty, we see, and th- those things may, because everybody's been there in somewhere where, where you do like, or you act a way that you really don't like, and then there's that like, I'm sorry thing, and then it maybe happens again or whatever, right. and you're like, fuck. Sure. So that dude, like he apologizes, he gives her all the furniture and everything, and I, someone, I was reading something where they were like, it's the nice guy uh, facade. Oh, it, it's the yes. like, I'll, I'm gonna, I want to fill your house with all the stuff, I really care about you, oh, I'll get up in the middle, you know. And it's funny because the movie kind of presents him like that, where he's like, they said him up and put them in a bunch of scenes where it's like oh so like nay nah, there's gonna be some romance yeah, growing. Yeah. then there's not she just wants to fuck this other guy that's yeah. great that is mm. fucking I can't tell you how great that is because yeah, we're funny. almost bought into his illusion of like oh you know it's like she returns home and she meets this right. old small town guy and there's gonna be a love it's like no she just fucking is just she here. wants to, she wants like, to have yeah, sex with friend. the more attractive dude. exactly she wants <laughs> to have sex with the more attractive guy because she, she, she straight likes up him. says it you're like, like in like a more subdued way like you're the most attractive yeah, person that's in the room that's why I want to fuck you but that's so forward thinking and feminist I fucking could not help but love it at the end where the, the whole line about entitlement that's like one of the that's one of the lines that really stuck out to me where uh-huh. Dan Stevens says you know you I'm, I feel like I'm entitled to I think you owe me an explanation yeah. and she says actually no no I don't I really don't yeah. and I and I and I love that those because, are the and, yeah. and you know what's and funny she kicks is that in, well. in, in, yeah. <laughs> but in the movie certain parts like that because I was still sort of reeling from the gear shift and this this sounds it maybe sounds nastier than I mean it to, but it was like it felt like it was about someone who needs to right the wrongs that they've made for themselves. And then by the end, it sort of felt like other people are bad, and I need to get and I need to tell them no. Yeah. Like, I guess I guess it I wish of, it felt like at that point when and especially when we started the movie feeling like wow she disappointed him to the point where he was like I can't do this anymore. Like you're I don't want you in my life anymore. And then at the end, she's like. Yeah, but well, you broke up with me, so I don't owe you anything. And it's like, well, okay, but also you broke up with you because you had clearly upset. Like you would, I agree with that. I think fucking the relationship up in the beginning. I think if the, so I don't know, it, it was something. But we don't was, see everything, which there. very true. Mm. But what we do see is the scene where he comes and he's in the hotel and he fucking says like, "Yeah, it's great, real great start to your new life." And you're like, "Oh, okay, right." That's he true. Sucks. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. You know, I think this film works because we've spent the last how long has it been, Nick? Thirty minutes? Forty five minutes? Uh, it's been the last 30, 30 wow. minutes. We're halfway. I, I think we've spent maybe a minute of that on the fact that there is a giant robot and a monster in this that's movie. Fun. You know what yeah, I mean? That's true. Where it's no, just but like, that's awesome. And that's, and that's, that's a test yeah. of the movie. Exactly. Well, that's that's the representative of the movie where the giant robot and the monster are as an afterthought, which yeah. is so weird. I can't yeah. begin to tell you how fucking, it's on the po- like, the, how did the this get made? The monster's on the poster. Like, yeah. That's, yeah. The monster's on great the post, poster. Great poster, by the way. The retro, like... You know the uh, the tick where she scratches the top of her yeah, head yeah, yeah. as the reveal where she realizes that she's the monster is yeah, like yeah. that's like a nice little audience thing because you right. know they established that that's such a movie we all, that's we such all a feel movie like thing. That's it a, is, it a, is a movie crumb. thing I, I call just, them investigation moments where it's like the audience for the, yeah, all right. the moms of the audience who love to figure out what's gonna happen next <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh she's the, oh that's oh gonna God. be oh she's the monster it's like yes yeah. yes she yes. is yeah. what we watched was it Power Rangers where there was like these it was exactly those oh, like yeah. two 50 something year old women behind us I forgot and, it even. It was, oh, she's God. gonna be. She's gonna be the green one. She was the green right, one. Right, right. Like, 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 I can't yeah. remember what it was, but it was like, oh, right. It's the rocks make them the power rangers. <laughs> and, <we're> like, <laughs> and it was like sweet. Oh, it wasn't annoying. Oh, and he's got yeah, the like, red oh, one, so he's gonna be the. Re- he's gonna. Yeah. Really, Margie's gonna be the red out. ranger. Sweet. I love it. Yeah, but you're right. <laughs> yes. That's what those moments are. Investigation. I like that. People like to call it. Like they're fucking. You know, cause, like there's their goddamn. Sherlock Helmsworth for <laughs> deduction, deduction, for like figuring it. Uh, Holmes, what the fuck <laughs> is wrong with me, buddy? It's all that Wendy's. <laughs> Sherlock Hemsworth. That's the Hemsworth brother. They keep locked in the basement, like fucking chained to you the know radiator. Why you started saying that? Because Take your of like meat. Hemlock Grove. Sure. I feel like you got you Sherlock Hemlock Hem- yeah. Hemsworth. Sherlock, anyway, Sherlock, Sherlock Hemsworth. Mm-hmm. As for, uh, uh, so remain in your cage, <laughs> Hems- Hemsworth. Please, oh. can I star in the summer blockbuster? <laughs> Back to your turnips, sir. <laughs> Just this once. Again, I'm glad it, it definitely grew because I was. I, I was jarred. I don't know. It, it it knocked me off center when it when it switched gears as hard as it switched gears. I guess yeah. And I have a heart even still. And I 
it seems smoother now as I'm like thinking back through over the movie and everything, but I really do want to see it again, knowing sort of where we're going to end up because I was, I, I was having a really hard time connecting it to the first half of the movie and There's, like being like, why was that the same when she's walking in slow motion at the end to the, to the river? What emotionally had she accomplished at that point because right. it didn't just feel like because it wasn't and we've just talked about this movie was not you know we're talking for one minute about the monster and the and the robot so when she's walking and this is this is clearly a very big triumphant moment I wasn't sure why I really wasn't it was cool I thought mm-hmm. that was really fucking smart when I realized what she was doing I was like oh that's interesting mm-hmm. that's awesome but it felt like this big yes she has a con- she has overcome all of these things that were weighing on her but I didn't know what they were sure exactly at that true. point like what at was causing point. her alcoholism i guess no, versus... it just was what was what, what it, it, everything else well, no, was i see so... what you're getting you, you he, she had over she had, i mean it, according to you she had overcome her alcoholism at the midpoint of the movie basically not overcome obviously well, but, but she had made the hard i'm not gonna drink and she a, doesn't for the rest of the movie she okay drink, right so and then, we'll, so so what is so what is the what's the catharsis at the end that we're supposed to feel when she's having this big moment for, i mean and here's here's what it is and if i think i think why I have, I get attached to these things a little too hard. I think that I like the, the these these metaphor things to be kind of airtight and have direct lines to well, different there, things. But the no. problem is that the movie is such a direct metaphor so frequently that when at the end of it, I was like, okay, but so what does this mean? I view her, it as her as she's coming using to, her power, where she's she has this power in her to become the monster, right? And what it took was removing and herself. What it took, yeah, where she has to be like. Okay, well, if I'm not going to, I can't handle him like this, like just on my own. I need to be this other thing. Like I need to use the power inside of me and, and approach this problem in a different way. It was, to removing it. it was just saying, you know, that fucking is enough's enough. And then that is ultimately what kind of like, sure. Mm-hmm. I, I think I worked from it. But I, I can see why at the end it almost seems like a, like a, not unearned, but kind of, um, it was too grand. obligatory of a, okay, we need some kind of big thing right. at the end. Yeah. Which it was great. Like the, the, cool. the rules yeah. of it were oh, fantastic. It was super cool. And again, I, I like just, it. I don't know why I, I maybe, I feel like a kind of like a dick about it. Cause I felt like I was so, no. I still was like trying to connect everything that sure. was physical and had to do with the monster to something going this, on. This is definitely, this is a second viewing kind of movie. Yeah. I'm going oh to need to watch yeah. it. I agree. Yeah. I, I agree. Don't, it's not particularly like dense or like heady, but there's just, it's worth watching again. Yeah. I think, I think there's something really interesting to be said about a film where you, you have an idea of, okay, I think I know how this film is going to lead me. Mm-hmm. I know I kind of have an idea of where it's going to end and then it switches gears on you. I can understand. I can totally understand how that might be. That That's might be off putting to most somebody. of the yeah. time though. I love that. I mean, who doesn't, you love to be surprised by stuff, but I guess it was, again, it was something emotional and it's yeah. just, it's, it was my need to connect everything to some well, that's person not, that's problem. Not, I mean, that's so not necessarily like, bad. Thing. That sounds like it's fucking you. That yeah. sounds like, uh, this movie's fine. You're fucking bad. Sounds like, no, it but sounds you know like what's a, funny? <laughs> I genuinely think that I, I'm thinking too hard. I actually believe that really? I'm, I'm trying to dig too deep into something that ultimately should just chalk up to like, she stood up and won. She sure. Beat, she stopped. She said, I'm going to win now. And she did it. She's stronger. She fucking, that. I'm gonna like be, you said, she used her power. And a story. I'm going to be in charge of my own life and my own decisions and my own paths. I like that they yeah. had to give us the beat of Jason Sudeikis calling her a, like he's screaming, uh, no, crying yeah, for his yeah, life, yeah, and then he yeah. calls her a bitch. It's like okay, now we can. Kill and him. now we can throw. Now we can kill him. him I was, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> dude, the way she kills him. I know. Oh, dude, obviously, it, it cuts to the robot, but right. it is so comical. Well, so that that's another interesting thing that they do at once, where yeah, yeah. they they. They show one thing to represent another. So there's a there's a, a important turning scene where he pushes her down. Yeah. He finally uses like real violence against her, and he's just stomping in a playground. And you hear all that. And it's in the- slow motion. Well, so hang on. So it, it, it's moving in slow mo, and it's just him stomping on a playground on yeah, mulch, and yeah, she's like- screaming and crying. Yeah. And like take it out of context. It's like oh, this is silly, but he's you know obviously you're supposed to imagine there's a monster, and it is layered over. There's people screaming, and you hear cars yeah, yeah, and buildings yeah. exploding. And then again, juxtaposed against the end where. Where she f- fucking hurls his body into the goddamn stratosphere yeah. and it cuts to the robot flying into the distance. And I'm like, right. that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that is well, what he really I mean, is. It's brilliant. I mean, it's it, that's what it's it, it being good at teaching us, it being good at getting us on board and making a, like, you know, and I know it's not it's not a huge stretch to to say 
this is when this is happening here, this is happening there. Like yeah. that's not insanely complicated, but that's how incredible is it when that moment really lands for a whole audience of people being like, I wow, mean, it's, we it's, get it. It's dude. still a testament to the filmmakers that they established that language yeah, so yeah, yeah. clearly. Yeah. It, it, no, no matter how simple it is, it's still so awesome when, because it, it, again, it's another like slew thing, detective moment where you're like, oh my God. I really, really liked that the rule uh, was limited by the playground because going into it, I wasn't sure exactly how this was going to work. Where it was like she right. realizes when she, I thought moving. it was going to be that she was when she was whenever she blacked out. Yeah, she so I, didn't even put that, I thought I it was at first. Yeah, I didn't put that together at, at from the. Tra- I mean, going into the movie, like from the trailers and stuff. So I was curious about how it was going to, what exactly the connection was going to be. And I think that's the smartest shit in the world. I mean, that's how you do any of these things. You got to close when, it in. When yeah. The con- yeah, when it's such a bonko concept, it's like okay, but only in the playground. <laughs> I think that, that opens up. So, that opens up like a yeah. Right. You build fandoms and now people can like debate and talk about it because like okay here are the rules and how it needs to play out like what is right. what could feasibly have been what happened which here. is why the end that's why it's so fucking sick that when she when she's in Korea and the and then the monsters in America yeah like that's we knew, that, that both we, of these everyone knew and believed it you were like oh of course that's how that would work yeah which is insane that's a crazy thing to think yeah that's how that would work and but, they wouldn't know that because they're both both of them just right, happen sure. to be in America but they, they taught have, us the movie yeah, yeah but sure. it's fun man good flick I, mean, I, did I, we like didn't, it. I, I didn't even talk about the tone yet where th- this was a great balance of, of actual yeah. comedy actual horror yeah. and like drama. actual like, drama yeah. that, that I gave a shit about and I was just like whoa that's really you're right every single time it did one of those things it was it successful just, it did a lot of the, like there was laughter yeah. and gasps and then more laughter and then more like the audience was so visceral like when we, I could just hear everyone in having the reactions that they were supposed yeah. to have some of, some of the nonchalant sarcastic humor in this yeah, yeah. it killed me like, like the whole thing where it was like, do you see this on the news? Is this giant monster? Oh yeah, that happened yesterday. Weren't you? Yeah. Did you not oh, see like it? Like a weird yeah. commentary yeah, on like, like a twenty-four hour news cycle. Or no, he's he said that happened nine, nine hours, hours ago. Nine hours ago. Like, yeah. What? And she's just like, <laughs> there's a mo- there's just a monster what? now. It's Who like, cares what, if it was nine hours? They took it. They took it like some like there was some hurricane that happened in Haiti. Yeah. Right. But it's exactly. like, oh, didn't you hear about that already? Yeah. But it's a fucking yeah. monster. Then, then, it was then also they because actually grapple with the monster. Well, but was, like, that was like also that beat was like because she was sleeping all day. And it was like, what the fuck have you been doing all day then? Right. You didn't hear about well, that. But it's, it, another, it, it's another jab at her being a train wreck. Right, right. But, like, but it reads as comedy and like commentary yeah. on like the 20. Like, oh, come on. We, we moved on. <laughs> yeah. There's bombs now. That's crazy. Um, Love you going to the accent whenever you talk as Dan Stevens. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's already gone. It's. Uh, it's <laughs> I can't believe in. in Legion. I'm it's not like doing a super it. Super American ass accent, which is um, great. I love. He's and he's the, a the good other actor. one that killed me was there's some funny camera stuff, like funny sight gags where he, you know, they're they're running to the playground. Yeah, he's like looking around. Yeah, and yeah. And you just see her like run really like, like <laughs> ridiculously slower. in the bathroom yeah. or yeah. background. The background. When the background is just all bathrooms. That's that's an interesting point to say that because it's like it never. It casts such a it casts such a wide net in so many different things. And all of them are as successful as the others. Yeah. Like, because you could also say there are some things that were gags that weren't, that didn't necessarily play, or like a joke that didn't land, or there was a dramatic moment that maybe made your... But there wasn't one that stood out as that's... No. Band. Yeah. Yeah. And they, but, they, but they were as successful as any of the other ones. It's so interesting, because a lot of the reviews that I've been reading have been people criticizing its imbalance, and people say that it bounced around too much, and I just disagree. No. I really don't. I really. I, I love I think the frenetic that, nature of it. I, I love how like, schizophrenic it can be the, at times. The fact that it bounces it around makes it a tone of its own. Well, people it makes were it very delighted. Unique. I mean, that's what you're talking about, like feeling the audience being like excited and mm. it is like it was just such a the, again it, this is maybe just hinging on its own concept but I, I really genuinely think and I don't I my optimistic side wants to think that we will get more movies like this with nope. a brand new hook or whatever but no I know that's what I'm saying optimistic side the uh, the wrong side yeah this is the incorrect yeah. you think this movie's gonna do well financially <laughs> well who knows if it gets a know, wide yeah. well I, I mean it won't do well if it's limited well, I mean, it never really does well yeah is that true I don't know though was it, I'm was sure it like it, a 10 million dollar budget it depends on how long it's out and how you know especially over this week in the word of mouth but but what was I even getting at what was I starting to say uh, I'm I'm gay and uh, oh right <laughs> so right I wanted to say real quick <laughs> just so everyone knows uh huh I don't oh, remember it was it was um uh whether or not we're gonna see more movies like this yes right uh. But but so the audience in it because because why I would love if that happened is because you could just feel everybody being so excited by a new set of rules 
being it was presented really refreshing, to them. Yeah. A new mythology, or it wasn't even mythology, but like I don't know what would you call that? You were, they were just excited for the next story thing. Yeah, dude. Oh, and now that she tripped, and now there's the robots there now too, and everyone was just kind of like so excited. Yeah, every level of escalation, I was on board with. You know, it's funny because. When I think about this movie, I'm like, yeah, this is like a 72%. That's pretty accurate. Or it's mm-hmm. like, you know, three three out of four, um, and I can't think of a bad thing to say about it at the same time. But for whatever reason, my brain, and like, just as somebody who watches a lot of art, just went, you know, this isn't amazing, but I really fucking liked it. And I, I couldn't tell you why, I um, what yeah, is I mean, negative. It's, it's fair. Well, it's what I was saying. I mean, I, I just, I do right, think that there I is somewhat of an emotional I know all of disjointedness that at a certain point. Well, that's something really cool to say about a film that you know has its... I mean, that's about any film. The film that you know know that it has flaws, but you can still adore it. I just can't figure out what they are. But overall, (laughs) I just just fucking dug that. I don't know what this else is Well, you don't have to necessarily... I mean, you don't gotta have beef with it. I I was... Even just you saying that, I was like, okay, Jesus, what was the last time I saw something where I unabashedly wouldn't change a frame? And it might have been... I'm not saying that. I just don't know what I would change exactly. I just think that everything in its place works in right. this movie and I think fucking with it might make it not work like I'm sure there's an overhaul somewhere in this movie oh, where you can sure, make this dude. a fantastic film but I think as it but stands it all, yeah. this is just like a cult movie that I think or I think a movie that will be a cult movie you, you, th- you think uh, about like Back to the Future and like if they went back to Back to the Future and like r- made the time travel rules like airtight and like made right. it made it you know perfect it wouldn't really be that good of a movie I mean, who that, gives mo- a fu- that movie yeah. was all about like uh world like world war ii generation nostalgia jerking off where it doesn't matter why he went back in time it's the mm-hmm. fact that oh now we're seeing uh chuck berry's or yeah. marvin berry's yeah. band T- texaco yeah sure. you guys remember uh getting an old coca-cola down exactly remember you had a texaco <laughs> exactly and we thing. do the same shit today where like oh, yeah. any, anything about like the 60s or the 70s or the 80s it's just baby boomers like nostalgia jerking off and it's like uh, that's why we're getting started Wars, I'm going to slam on the brakes and swerve right to the second uh-huh. just for this is irrelevant to Colossal but mm-hmm. you just made me think about it cool so you may know in Back to the Future when he when Marty doesn't know that the bottle has to be opened with a bottle mm-hmm. opener uh huh that's dumb. Yeah. And uh, what, I'm, I'm a, <laughs> <laughs> going further, I have noticed this trend recently where in in movies or it, it's really just people. It's in like I see on people's Facebook posts and Twitter posts. People assume that people that uh, anybody like our age, so born early 90s and onward, don't know like what VHSs are or what tapes are sure. or what analog anything is. And it's that, like a joke being like, like, oh my God, what's a VHS? You even know what a Walkman is? It's like, yeah, you stupid idiot. Do you know, do you know how to my, count I, years? I had one of those for five. Yeah. I watched my, I watched my like, first goddamn Lion King on a VHS. It just, it's, like, that's it's like, people, I think it's people that are 10 years older than us or 10 years younger than us because feasibly, if you're born in 2002, you've never seen, you might not have never seen a VHS. That's fair, but, but that's 10 years gap that's between true. like you can't like if I you know my little brother is in middle school yeah I don't expect him to necessarily but even even so though because he had right. older siblings he was watching VHS's he was you know what I mean like for instance I, I was listening to music at work the other day and somebody went like what do you listen to I said oh Hall and Oates and they're like wow you know that band I'm like oh you mean one of the mean- biggest selling <laughs> acts of all time Hall and Oates incredibly famous like thing <laughs> licensed music in literally every goddamn thing Hall and Oates yeah. yeah no I am listening to that Hall and Every time I hear their name, I want cereal. Yeah, <laughs> like you want some like a big bowl I, of the I Quakers. Wonder, why would that be? Dom? I think we all know. <laughs> Halls, my favorite cereal. <laughs> halls, I, put I just take halls. Like a, a I mean, we all yeah. drops in yeah, a bowl, take a bunch <laughs> and I <laughs> pour milk in, and I scoop them up and suck them. I like that <laughs> menthol milk at the end oh, when ooh, I drink it, and it delicious. just like ice freezes my throat. Yeah, uh, that's how you wake up in the morning. Fossil was good. Yeah, it was, was great. It yeah, was it was good. a great movie. It was good. I so feel. A what's little, your be- what's your biggest beef with it? I've said it already. It's the it's that I I uh, I I can say whatever I want to retrospectively and objectively now that I'm putting it all together. But in the movie, I definitely felt the like speed bump of of changing gears sure. I, mm-hmm. and until the end of it it literally ended and i was like fuck i didn't quite have as powerful of an experience as i wanted to right. because i was still getting over right, uh, right. a, a mm-hmm. shift you know for me it was and again like this same exact thing unpacking it here and talking about it i maybe got over it a little bit more yeah, but, yeah. but in the theater as you said the the the, the really tectonic shift in jason sudeikis's character yeah. from being the kind yeah. guy and then all of a sudden being literally a mustache twirling 
ass. Yeah, there's a line. There's a line for yeah. sure. And I think that that yeah. is, I could say, as much as I really like the movie and what it's doing, I will. Uh, it is. I, a failing is too hard of a word, but it's a slight uh, off note. Sure. Where it's it a like bump. He, it's like a he, bump. It's he like. He does so. He gets so bad. He gets so. Well, it's, it's like a speed. Yeah. It's like a real. It's like a, a speed bump that has like a crack in it. It didn't yeah. derail the movie, but there's right. a moment where you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. All right. It, it's it's so funny how when I, I've rationalized it away as the alcohol symbolism in my head so hard, it does not read as a little bit of an issue to me. That's fine. Like, that's and, so and, that's, and that's what I makes just, me think about it again, because you're like, yeah, you're right, because that's what would but happen. But that makes me go like, that makes me question my ability to look at this object, like not a, outside of myself, to look at it and go like, will this be a problem for other people? Because when you guys are saying this, all I'm saying in my head is, no, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> yeah, you're I mean, that's incorrect. Fair. <laughs> Dude, when you're telling me the metaphor thing, again, I have, uh, I have a hard time jumping on board with that specifically because it doesn't ever feel like she's being tempted by him. It feels like, and now what I, you know what I can well, explain away? is the fact that she's just like comfort. Like he is comfort but, and that's what but, alcohol is. But that, see, that would work as a metaphor if you want, if you understood why maybe she would want to still be with him. Or if we saw in however it was shot or in a, something in her performance that she is so broken that it's sad that she can't get away from him. Do you kind of know what I mean? Yeah, but I, I didn't necessarily mean. feel that. Drive it just felt out. like, oh, she's dealt with her shit. She's oh, she's not going to drink anymore. She's She realized she doesn't want to kill people. Happy ending halfway through the movie. And now there's a villain who is a super villain. And right. just now we have to do with this guy. We have to figure that out. Mm. And that's fair because I think what I can ex- how I can explain it away to maybe make peace with it a little harder is that her even being there her even having uh, this this conflict with the dude mm-hmm. was her fault in the first place and it's maybe an extension of a further repercussion of even though she, it's like kind of how you're saying in a way where yeah so she's not drinking anymore she's not drank for a week or whatever a few days right however she started the ball rolling on this very dangerous thing which is that guy yeah and that's gonna continue to blossom and flower even though she's tried to stop already i feel that you know aaron said something as soon as the movie was over he said like what a gem that's i think that's really yeah. what mm-hmm. this is a gem, like, this you're right this yeah, probably yeah. isn't gonna find huge success this is a gem of a movie that you're gonna find on netflix and go fuck that was, yeah, that was great that was good <laughs> and it's like and it's a, not only that there's plenty of great gem movies that are very heady and intelligent. This is a movie you could really show anybody. Yeah, that I, I agree. Think has, yeah, that's has very interesting. Nuance and layers to it that just will work for a general audience. I agree. Um, that's I a weird. That's, that's rare. That's, you're right. That's rare in my opinion. Usually you're like, oh, dude, you know, usually you're wrong. But this time you were right. No, yeah, I, this I'm is, so used to. This is what a blockbuster. This is what a blockbuster looks like. Just really thrown down to the bottom level. Mm-hmm. Um, in, know, regards, yeah, yeah, it, in regards, in regards to subject matter and 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 scale. Yeah, and I'm people sorry. can still hint. Yeah, what were you, you were gonna say something? I just was. I'm so on board with that because it's interesting when you think about everybody saying like. Oh, dude, you gotta see this movie. You gotta see this movie. It's very rare that when someone's doing that, it's like fucking Star Wars. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And That's if it true. is, it's because it's Star Wars, and you're like, how have you not fucking seen that, idiot? Exactly. You know what I mean? But it's never like, oh no, there was this movie came out in 2017. Oh, so it was not many people sure. saw it. <laughs> well, it makes it, it makes you want to get on. It's a called movie. Sad Balloon. <laughs> 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 it is an hour and a half <laughs> of a bench. <laughs> Uh, is there a balloon? No, yeah, no there's not, not, not one balloon. Yeah, um, exactly. And I, I think a movie. So just from a marketing perspective, you want to talk about mm-hmm. a movie that gets you in its corner, where it's like, I know that I need to fight for this. Right. I need to advocate for this yeah, movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's done some. It's touched something inside of you, and it's it's like that's the power of art, where it's like this is now a part of you, yeah. and you need to share it with everyone. That's. Great. That's what's also, and I, I feel weird get, uh, bringing this up secondhand, but Amber really was like making a point of like that. And I, it is important. And I'm not trying to restrict it. Like, I just maybe feel uncomfortable being like a dude saying this point, mm-hmm. but she was really harping on like that the end of this movie, like just made her feel really strong. Like as a girl, as like a woman. Great. And she felt like powerful. I could feel when the movie was over, I looked, I looked at her face. It was like right after she threw him into fucking oblivion. Yeah. And it was, she was just like, I get, she was just like reveling in it. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I've had so many times where it's like, you know, uh, Captain America smashes to black and, you know, written and directed by yeah so-and-so. And I'm like, cool. Sure. Mm-hmm. God, oh, sweet. I want to jump and punch. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was kind of, it's neat that that's, that, so I don't know. I would say in that, in that regard, if that's doing this for, for right. people, for girls, that's like fucking, and what's more that's in, rock solid. In it's a nice. way that's not uh, in 
exploitative, not in the way that, um, yeah. not, not in the way that like, it's literally exploitative of women or something in a way, like a cheesy way where it's like, there's a lot of movies where the girl yeah. gets over on the guy at the end or like she beats her killer or her, her attacker mm-hmm. in this. There's something special about it. There's, there's an emotional and physical catharsis at sure. the same time and not in a dramatic overwrought way. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's something special about the end of this movie. I think, I think it was, uh, even though it was it, again, at the end, it was missing some mark for me. Right. There was, there was certain, mm. there was something that I couldn't, I wasn't quite at like 100% down. Did the crowd the know end. that she did that? Because they all seemed no, to no, gather no. around she, her. They didn't. No, it looks it's like, almost like they're like, our right, extras don't go more than 15 feet of Anne. <laughs> uh, she will attack you. Yeah. <laughs> she's, it bites very hard. Yes. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I, I love that, by the way. That, that was a moment that I, that I remembered where I expected everyone to come up to and be cheering her. Because, again, that's what the movie's about. It's about recognition. It's about getting that getting that feeling of being recognized. Oh, that's another can of worms, and then, Is it? And, well, that's what I... That's, I what's, what's another thing that I got from it? Tim? Fucking... I don't... I can't tell you what you got from it. <laughs> no, exactly. Oh, that's... Wow. Yeah, Dude, you I just got fucking owned on my own He podcast. laid a bear trap in front of you, <laughs> and you still walked onto it. You looked at it, onto you it. looked at it, you Ooh, said... Huh. Metal! And it's reached down... <laughs> Uh, all right. I think we could do final thoughts, right? It's about that time. I agree. Mm-hmm. Go go see it. Perfect. Aaron, final thought? Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll reiterate what I said 24 hours ago. One it was, sentence. It was a gem of a movie. Mm-hmm. Everybody should you want take more, a look at You it. want more movies like this. And if you want more movies like this, go see this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, support and, it. And uh, this might be, I, I'm sorry I didn't touch on this, and I'm not going to be able to expound on it, so don't ask me. Might be one of the best Anne Hathaway performances I've seen in a very long I time. I felt the same way. I, I agree. She was I've, very good. Yeah. Like just being a nor- Anne Hathaway does this weird thing where she plays normal ass women really good. Just yeah. with a lot mm-hmm. of conviction. Like uh, Jason Bateman, baby. Sure. It's just different, yes. different tones. Yeah. Exactly. Like, like yeah. A, yes, a female Jason Bateman where she could just play comedy straight, sort of. Yeah. I don't, I've seen a lot of movies that are bad movies, such as Bride Wars, that I think she's fantastic <laughs> in, just because that's just who she is. And um, mm. I used to really dislike her fucking it, it's it was a great, because of great performance I, you just you have you that bad taste batman. because of batman and i felt the same way still when i watch that movies you look at it and sometimes it feels like she's pretending to be catwoman sure and you're like well that's not what i want it to yeah, feel like you're like actually that not a great not a yeah. great yeah. But, but this yeah, was go good. see it I, princess go diaries see it. she's great in that shit oh yeah she yeah. is good in princess diaries she's funny as hell in that movie yeah both of them very funny yeah, she's great. She has great comedic timing. She's beautiful. She's a good dramatic actress. I was realizing, you know, when I realize around. I like someone, Hands especially down. in stuff like this, because I, you know, I have a huge like uh, heartburn boner. Heartburn. Heartburn. I got a lot of heartburn. 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 No, heartburn, heartburn, and we gotta get it's off. Like, this. Like you know, that's not what that phrase means, right? I need means, to pop right? a <laughs> I'm feeling rough. When I feel love, <laughs> oil comes up my throat and it burns. My soft, my my, my vocal cords, they just start singeing. Been indigestion. Um, <laughs> I. When when you when you're doing a, th- a a shot where it's just someone like kind of squirrel really running across the street and like putting uh, a piece of paper in their jacket, mm-hmm. and when I'm watching that and I'm like, I like what you got. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's like such a successful bit of performance. Yeah. When I'm like, you're just fun to fucking watch. Physical business, like <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's a whole other no one, no physical one, business. Not a joke for anyone. Okay, uh, we'll do a cool. three headed critic. I guess and kick this one out of here. Um, you, do you know you, this game? Uh, re- you can imagine. Me. Okay. So, so is it one word? Basically, like one everybody word. says one word. It keeps going around the circle until it's a coherent thought about the movie. I'm going to start right. you off. Pick any word. Big. I'll go to me. Um, big? Yeah, that was his first moment. <laughs> okay. Uh, big movies. Sometimes. Need. A. Small. Hathaway. <laughs> <laughs> Period. <laughs> I can't tell you why I like that one so much, but it might but be it, my favorite. Yeah. That's a great one, dude. Big movies sometimes, sometimes need a, a small half no, no, Very wow. good. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. This has been Reasonable Beef. Uh, thank you, Aaron Daniel Jacobs, for joining us. Do you have any plugs? Anything cool coming out? Uh, w- uh, watch Milo Murphy's Law on Disney XD. And buy uh, uh, buy the other one on DVD and, and Blu-ray. Oh, Phineas and Ferb and the albums. Phineas got, and Ferb. We got albums, too. And, uh, yeah, I'm, and I'm really, I'm really... Are you on the albums? Yeah. Fucking, that's red. Go albums. buy the red. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, do you, final thoughts, Dom? Moment is in. Oh. <clears throat> if you're ever feeling a little bit cold, what's better than standing in, right in front of the heater is take a nice hot shower. 
Fuck, that's true, isn't it? Yeah. I never really thought it. It regulates that way. your temperature. All right, guys. Well, thank you so sure. much. This has been Reasonable Beef. Hey, um, please send emails to reasonablebeef at gmail.com. We're going to read them at our month end uh, wrap up show. That's going to be for Patreon subscribers exclusively, but the first episode will be up for everyone very soon. Uh, and <laughs> hey, spoken about Patreon, go to www.patreon.com <laughs> slash reasonable beef. Uh, <laughs> give what you can, make the show happen. I think we're up to like $50. That's cool. We can be up to 100. You, you, I'm talking about the you, important you, shit here, you and you're went, chuckling like a dumb clown. You went, you went uh, spot about uh, Patreon. <laughs> spot about Patreon. Thank Look, you. I'm losing my own battle with alcoholism over here. <laughs> oh, this, this is why it's not working That's out. Sad. Thank All you, guys. Cool. Thank you so much for listening. Have a Great wonderful shit, night. Um, shit. Go fuck yourselves. Thanks, everyone. Love you. Mean it. There ain't nothing as big as that.